Go ahead. Hi. We're here at Disney Springs. Oh, wait. First of all, sorry for no video last week. We actually forgot. Yeah, Alex's parents were in town and we were just kind of hanging out and time flew by so quick. Uh, fun thing is though, tonight we're back and tonight we always talk about uh, date night and actually doing it, but we're always accompanied by people, but tonight is actually date night. Yeah. We're, not, we're by ourselves. Yeah, we're going to New York City next week for Forrest's 30th birthday. Um, and we're going to come and get a couple of bits for the trip and get dinner out. So come and join us shopping and for dinner. Maybe we'll run into some friends. I don't know. Maybe we'll run into Attractions Magazine themselves. That's funny, right? standing in front of one of the newer areas of Disney Springs. Looks a little bit like a train station, something like that. I'm not too sure. I think it's really pretty. I love all the lights in it, but inside are loads of different shops. We're here for, we are here to go shopping for New York clothes, but there's a shop in here called Sugar Boo and Company, and they do the most beautiful little Christmas gifts. Not just Christmas, but they have some really cute Christmas things. So come in and have a look with us, because I love this shop. tried to yeah not much going on no because everybody shops through black friday the shops are empty all i wanted was a pair of high-waisted black skinny jeans and i couldn't find any anywhere no. also i forgot all about black friday just happening that's probably why things are why i didn't even think about that yeah like the guy the, the guy section in zara was literally coats and trousers or pants if you're american whatever so hi oh. thank you Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah, we came to the boathouse to get some dinner because we're fancy. Forrest suggested Rainforest Cafe. Listen, I haven't been there in a very long time, and I I remember to enjoy it when I was younger. That's all. That's all that was, Alex. We don't have to go there. So we came to the boathouse instead. Um, we've ordered grilled asparagus, a buffalo chicken salad, and some firecracker shrimp because it all sounds really good. Um, we came here the night before our wedding and we had a really nice evening, great food, and there's always live entertainment. You can probably hear music from out over there, and yeah. then there's live singers inside, and we can see the hot air balloon behind us. And That's a man. <laughs> and there's Lanuba as well here. Um, I think it's really pretty. Then behind us is a boat. 100% real boats. Yeah, apparently these are all, a lot of these are like antique boats they did run at one point. I don't think they do now. I think they're a bunch for look, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can take them out. I do know we did a champagne cruise here once. It was, was lots of fun. Have you tried this bread? No, it's really good. Yeah, it's so good. Please feed me. It's, it's 
Cool. We should probably just, um, with, within Attractions Magazine, we should just do food segments. This should be us, the princess and the frog legs. Oh yeah, we're always eating and drinking. How good is that? It's really good. So the food has arrived. Here's the buffalo chicken salad. It smells really nice. But what smells even better is the firecracker shrimp. Firecracker shrimp is a is a favorite of Alex and mine. Asparagus is really underrated. We love it, and it has hollandaise sauce. They might need to bring a bit more of that out because it's so good. I'm probably just gonna eat it as is. Have you ever had hollandaise? Yeah. It's really good. This goes really well with this. Make a make a face like you like. It. This boat right here, this is the boat we took that was the Champagne Cruise way back, about... Last Dapper Day. Yeah, it was, wow, yeah, last Dapper Day. It was a lot of fun. And here we have these these boats that I don't think they're in use anymore. No, but they, they call them the floating pieces of artwork. They're vintage. They're beautiful, beautiful boats. The plan next time, Alex and I are going to sit right here. Right here, Alex. Okay? A unicorn one? Alex, you might as well buy that. We're on a roll right now. Alex and I came to the conclusion that after that beautiful meal, you, that we've said it before, you can't come to Disney's De Disney Springs without... Sprinkles cupcakes. So, so they asked us if we wanted a dessert menu, and I was really honest, and I was like, no thank you, because Sprinkles is right across the road, and that's where we're going to go right now. Yeah, we're going to Sprinkles. Let's, let's go and Sprinkles. Let's do it. What did you get? So, it's the seasonal cupcake. It's orange cranberry. Yeah, cupcake. Orange and cranberry. It's orange and cranberry. Alex, you didn't get one? I'm on a diet. I always say I want to be on one. Just There's a lot of temptation in this world. But you have to get a Sprinkles cupcake when you come to Disney Springs and when I'm on a diet it's gonna have to be Forrest. Alright well I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm gonna let you guys know if this is good or bad. I always eat the button first. I always eat that last. Oh. But now you're gonna drop it and then you won't be able to no, eat it at all. I'm gonna eat it last now. Here we go. Oh this thing is overflowing with oranges and cranberries. It smells so good. It does smell good. If I had one word of advice for sprinkles is don't make this seasonal, make this a permanent thing because it's <laughs> dang good. Is it really? Yeah. Can I try some with actual cake, not just frosting like that bite was for you? I'm sorry, can you or may you? And I would like frosting with it too though. And some of the fruit. This is Alex's piece. And some of the fruit. Jeez. Stingy. You're such a wench. Isn't it good? It tastes like the fiber one bar I had this morning. But I did not enjoy that. That really was like a cake bar. Must be healthy then. It's a healthy cupcake. That is not healthy. It's like really eight ton it. of sugar in there. Jeepers creepers, that was so good. Issies and Grichmas start this weekend, so our yeah, plan is this weekend is to head down there with Forest Mum, go and mm. check out the parade. Uh, so that could well be next week's vlog, Macy's. Also, we're not parked in this garage. We parked in the orange. How do you say? Orange and cranberry cupcake. Garage. 
Guys, last night we went to go and see the new Harry Potter oh, yeah. Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. It was absolutely awesome. And Eddie Redmayne did such a good job. His character was so like timid and shy Awkward. and yeah, not very good at eye contact. And he was really cute. I'd really recommend it. It was just like easy watching. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one already. Alright, well this is us leaving. Okay. You guys enjoy the week. We'll see you next time. We'll see. We never saw Attractions Magazine here. Just that car. No, we didn't see Matt or Attractions Magazine. There's your car. Maybe it's still there. Maybe they're seeing Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. And maybe not. We, we, we just don't know. Can we, can we go now? Yeah. We're going to walk out of here. Okay. Bye.